Fake it. Brady. Good hands. Chris Hogan. First down across the 45-yard line, and now the Patriots are in business. Uh, that was, of course, Chris Hogan. Uh, reception he made in Sunday's victory over the LA Chargers for the Patriots before he left the game uh, with what looked to be an arm injury, but it sounds like Chris Hogan is out with a shoulder injury, and uh, there's still no timetable on his return. But the Patriots did not have their best offensive game on Sunday against the Chargers, and uh, let's not panic. Let's not panic. It's amazing how the Patriots have one bad offensive game and everyone writes them off. Meanwhile, their defense just keeps getting better and better and better, and that was the issue two weeks ago. Nobody's even talking about the defense now. And the offense didn't even really have that bad of a game. They just traded threes for sixes. The Patriots couldn't get into the end zone, and a lot of that has to do with the Chargers. They have a solid red zone defense. That's a good defensive team. Chargers are not a bad team. They're just victims of a really, really tough division. Um, so I actually, I thought it was a pretty good victory for the Patriots, but that offense certainly has a lot to work on in the next 13 days. The Patriots have a bye week next week before they go into Denver, plays Brady in that offensive line have always struggled in, and uh, then the following week they go to Mexico City to play the Oakland Raiders. That's also going to be a very difficult environment, so two tough road games for the Patriots coming up. Uh, so they, they may have to fix some of those offensive issues, and you know losing Chris Hogan definitely hurts. So that raises the question, with the NFL trade deadline approaching, uh, which is going to be at 4 o'clock Eastern on Halloween, the question is, do the Patriots make a move to compensate for all of their wide receiver injuries? Um, and th- they're pretty banged up at the receiver position. You know, Gronk is never fully healthy, and obviously they lost Edelman in the preseason. Uh, but this is, this is an interesting development that's taken place in the last couple of days. Uh, the, the Colts are reportedly willing to move their star wide receiver T.Y. Hilton in order to stockpile draft picks, and it makes sense. They just dropped to 2-6. and six. Uh, They're probably going to go into full-on tanking mode, and I would be very surprised if Andrew Luck is back this season, even if he is healthy in a couple of weeks like people expect him to be. Um, and, and one of the rumors going around is, will the Patriots make a trade offer for T.Y. Hilton? And... It's possible. It really is. Bill Belichick really isn't as into draft picks <clears throat> as he used to be. And that, I think that's because he just evaluates players a lot differently than other teams do. Other teams in the league love they love first round picks even though they cost a lot of money. They love upside. They love they love talent. Uh, But Bill Belichick just likes playmakers, and he also evaluates players that have played in the NFL a lot better than he does potential rookies because he's seen them play before. That's why he always is constantly pulling players away from the Bills or the Cleveland Browns. These are players he's seen before many times. Uh, So I think he's more than willing to give up draft picks than he he used to. Um, And, you know, again, this is a deal that could happen. New England and Indianapolis, they were trade partners eight weeks ago when they dealt Jacoby Brissett to Indy to uh, fill in for Andrew Luck. Patriots got Philip Dorsett back, and he's still in the process of learning the Patriots offense. And, you know, it's very difficult for a wide receiver, even if it were T.Y. Hilton, to learn the Patriots system midseason. Uh, but don't count this trade out trade out yet. And in Hilton, something that nobody's talking about is T.Y. Hilton has the ability to opt out of his contract after this season. And I think that's the only way Bill Belichick would make this type of trade. He has three more years on his contract with $28 million total left. And, you know, that's a lot of money for a receiver to turn down when their contract goes well into their 30s like T.Y. Hilton's does. And, uh, you know, I think $28 million over three years is a good deal for a receiver like T.Y. Hilton. But you have to remember, the Patriots paid their entire receiving core the same amount of money the Steelers pay for one receiver, Antonio Brown. So Belichick does not like overpaying for wide receivers. Uh, so the only way I see this happening is if Belichick thinks uh, uh, Hilton will be inclined to opt out of his deal at the end of the season. And Hilton signed an extension two seasons ago, and most of the money is on the back end. So he doesn't have a ton of incentive to do so. That said, if T.Y. Hilton were to go to the Patriots and they were to make a Super Bowl run, they'll make a playoff run no matter what. We know it's the Patriots. Uh, That's only going to help T.Y. Hilton's stock, and I think that he may end up 
opting out after that, and some team in the league will be willing to pay him more than $28 million over three years. Uh, but the reports are saying Hilton wants to stick with this contract and not opt out. Uh, so again, it's unlikely Belichick would want to use up that much cap space on Hilton, but if Hilton sa- says, hey, going to the Patriots for a half a season as a rental and then building up my stock and then opting out of my contract, that may work out pretty well, uh, but that's the only way I see this deal actually taking place. Oh, 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 oh.